the way to the top of the tree canopy. It's home to so many creatures with incredible... Whoa, a Zackbot. What's Zack up to now? Follow that Zackbot. To run right, press the right arrow button. To jump up to these higher branches, press and hold the jump button. Look out, the Zackbot's turning around. To run left, press the left arrow button. To go up this hill, press the jump and left arrow buttons at the same time. To go up this really steep hill, press and hold down the left arrow and jump buttons at the same time. Uh-oh, I can't get there from here. Aviva, do you have any creature power ideas to help us reach that Zackbot? I, I don't. Let me think. Zack is using his Zack bots to capture creatures in the Amazon. We have to help. Chris and Martin need new creature power suits to help them get around in the Amazon. Can you help? Let's look for creatures using creature powers. Oh, we'll share what we find with Aviva to help her build new creature power discs. Wow, look at the claw marks on this tree. I think a jaguar's nearby. Ooh, let's show Aviva. Hey, what's up? This jaguar is scratching that tree trunk. Jaguars use their strong claws to mark their territory. That gives me an idea, but I need more to work with. Keep looking for creature power inspiration. Great, I'll keep looking. Ooh, let's show Aviva. What did you find? This jaguar is swimming. Jaguars are agile creatures, great at climbing, running, and swimming. That's great. Let me know if you find anything else. I might be on to something. Great, I'll keep looking. Whoa, Aviva needs to check this out. Hey, what's up? This jaguar is sleeping in a tree. Jaguars, like many cats, are great at jumping and climbing trees. Perfecto! Almost there! Here we go! A jaguar power suit! Great for jumping, swimming, and clawing. You can use it to find the creatures Zack captured and rescue them. All right! Let's go free some creatures! Let's explore this area of the Amazon rainforest and free... You can use the jaguar's jumping ability to reach high branches by pressing the jump button. You can use the jaguar's claw power to... All right! I freed a scarlet macaw. There are two more cages to find. Oh yeah, I freed a baby saddleback tamarin. Only one more left. Let's find it. I freed a praying mantis. We did it. We freed three creatures from Zack. You can reach more of the Amazon with the new creature power suit. Let's look for creatures using creature powers. Oh, we'll share what we find with Aviva to help her build new creature power discs. Whoa, Aviva needs to check this out. What did you find? 
otters are amphibious. They are happy zooming through the water and running around on the forest floor. That gives me an idea, but I need more to work with. Keep looking for creature power inspiration. Great, I'll keep looking. Let's show Aviva! Hey, what's up? Otters are social creatures who spend most of their time in groups. That's great! Let me know if you find anything else. I might be on to something. Great, I'll keep looking. See these fish bones? I think, ooh, let's show Aviva. What did you find? This otter is eating a fish he caught. Otters spend lots of time in the water playing, exploring, and hunting for food. Perfecto, almost there. Go! A giant otter power suit. You can use it to call a group of otters to help you out. You can use it to find the creatures Zack captured and rescue them. All right, let's go free some creatures. Let's explore this area of the Amazon rainforest and free some captives. When you're at the water's surface, your otter friends will join you. Come on, otters. When you're underwater, dive quickly by pressing the dive button. You can ask your otter friends to distract that. You can ask your otter friends to break open the- Oh, right! I freed a kinkajou! There are two more cages to find. Let's go, otter friends! Oh yeah, I freed a baby squirrel monkey. Only one more left. Let's find it. Come on, otters! I freed a baby Emperor Tamarin. We did it! We freed three creatures from Zack. You're back, great. Let's use the new creature powers to free more animals. Oh no, Danita Donata has a new fashion project. You've got to help us save them. Martin will sneak into the mantle. First, we need to figure out which animal we're rescuing. Guide? But be careful. Danita's mantle. Use the arrow keys on the keyboard or click with the mouse to move Martin through the maze. This place is crawling with Danita's mannequins. Don't let them catch you. Sweet! With cheetah power, we can run really fast. Yikes! Look out for all those lasers. If you touch them, you'll trigger Danita's alarms. All right. The penguin's hard scales will help us resist Danita's traps. Guess which animal is in the cave? This animal likes to dig. Now that you've got a clue, this animal whistles to warn others of danger. Once you think that the correct animal is on top of the dial, press the go button. Once you think that the correct animal is on top of the dial. All right, we did it. Great job. The 
Danita still has more baby animals. Let's rescue them all. This place is crawling with Danita's mannequins. Don't let them catch you. Grab the moose power suit and those mannequins won't be able to touch you. Oh no, look. This meter shows you how close Danita is to catching you. Be careful. Awesome! With moose power, we can bust past those patrolling mannequins. Help Martin gather the three clues. Another clue! Yes! We got all the clues! Awesome! Now go to the mansion and save that baby animal. Guess which animal is in the cage? This animal uses it. This animal means this animal might need special shoes like these. All right, we did it. My baby animal escaped. Quick, mannequins, find it. Oops. Gotta avoid those lasers! What? Is someone sneaking around my garden? My mannequins should take care of it. Moose power! Yes! This is the first animal clue. Just gotta collect the rest. Another clue! Yes! We got all the clues! Awesome! Now go to the mansion and save that baby animal. Guess which animal is in the cage? This animal eats. This animal. This animal is a member of the horse family. All right, we did it. Moose power. Yes, this is the first animal clue. Just gotta collect the rest. Uh-oh, this meter is getting really full. If it fills up all the way, we're toast. Another clue. Yes, we got all the clues. Awesome. Now go to the mansion and save that baby animal. Guess which animal? This animal. This. This animal is a member of the bear family. All right, we did it. Another one of my little animals is gone. Stop those crack brothers! Cheetah power! Yes! This is the first animal clue. Just gotta collect the rest. Another clue! Yes! We got all the clues! Awesome! Now go to the mansion and save that baby animal. Guess which animal is in the cage? This, this, an, this animal has a wide tail, kind of like a paddle. All right! We did it! Archerfish Bug Rush!
Press the play button to start. Hey, check out my new archer fish power suit. Want to try it out? Archer fish don't just eat bugs, they hunt them. They shoot water out of their mouths to knock the bugs down, then munch. Touch and hold your finger on the screen to aim and charge up your shot. Then release to spit water. The longer you charge up your shot, the farther the water will go. Hit as many bugs as you can to score enough points before the time runs out. You'll lose points if you hit anything that an archerfish can't eat. So only hit the bugs. Good luck! That's a dragonfly. They eat other bugs, but archerfish eat them. Moths are easy targets for the sharpshooting archerfish. Way to do it! Great job! That's a beetle! A big juicy target for an archer fish! Got it! Great job! Time to amp it up! That's a hummingbird! They drink nectar from flowers, and they're way too big to be archer fish food. Spiders are sneaky and hard to hit, but archer fish are up to the challenge. Fish, try only hitting insects and spiders. Archerfish use their mouths to shoot water and prey far above water. It's so beautiful here. Whoops! That caterpillar could one day be a beautiful butterfly, but for now, it's food. Yum! Dinner! mode of play. Who do you want to build a creature power suit for? Pick Chris. Okay, let's get started. I'll tell you what we need, and you choose the correct body part and drag it onto the character. We need strong athletic legs to run long distances over rough terrain in pursuit of prey. That's right, the gray wolf's body is built for going long distances and can run for many miles before resting. We are looking for long, lean front legs with padded paws that are good for prowling on all fours. That's right, their front legs are mostly part of the running machine, but gray wolves do sometimes scrape and dig earth to make dens where they have their pups. Find a head with great senses, a fantastic nose, superior eyes, and big triangular ears. Nice work! Gray wolves are also known for that incredible howl. It's a way to communicate with the pack. We need a long, bushy tail to help us balance while jumping and running at top speeds. That's right! Gray wolves are social animals that live in packs and communicate with each other in many ways. Even the way they hold their tail is a form of communication with other wolves. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. Hit the go button. 
to the Creature Rescue! Do you remember what makes each body part special? Tap on them and you'll find out. Great job! Let's make a new power suit. We need legs with grabby feet to catch mosquitoes. Oops! Try again. We need legs with grabby feet to catch mosquitoes. Oops! Try again. We need legs with grabby feet to catch mosquitoes. Sorry, not that one. Try again. We need legs with... Sorry, not that one. Try again. We need legs with... Nice work! The dragonfly forms his legs into a basket to capture mosquitoes. We need a body with wings that can fly in every direction. Nice work! A dragonfly can rotate its wings forward and backwards. We need a head with incredibly large eyes to see at a wide angle. That's right! The dragonfly has 30,000 lenses on its eyes, so it actually sees 300 images per second. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its... I feel like I was born to wear this creature power suit. Great job! Let's make a new power suit. We need three-toed legs that can hold up a heavy body. Nice work! The rhino's legs need to hold up a body that weighs as much as 3,000 pounds. We need a body with wings that can fly in every direction. We need a body with... Oops! Sorry! That's five strikes! Try again! Electric Challenge. Hi! Ready to test the new electric eel power suit? I'll release some robofish into the water, and you help Martin catch them with the eel's awesome zap power. Almost! You need to be closer. Try again! It worked! You got it! The more lightning bolts you see in the bubble, the more energy you get. Okay, I've released the next wave of robofish. You can see how many you need to catch in the top corner. I think we're getting the hang of this electric eel power suit. That's good, Martin, because things are about to get a bit tougher. Your electro sense view uses energy constantly, so you need to keep getting RoboFish batteries to stay charged. If you run out of energy, our test is over. Okay, there are some more RoboFish in the water now but also some normal fish. They're the ones without the antennas. Don't zap them or you'll lose more. More robo fish coming up. But watch out. Now there's a caiman in the water, the electric eel's natural predator. He'll drain your energy if he bites you. So try to chase him off with your zap power first. We lose energy when you zap real fish. So watch out. Okay, now Chris wants in on the fun. He's got on his caiman power suit and is going to try to catch you too. Just treat him like a normal caiman and zap him or keep away. Watch out, your energy is... You need to get a robofish. You need to get a robofish's... Creature Power Suit Underwater Challenge. Uh-oh, there's been an accident. My box of spare parts got dumped into the ocean. Help Chris search the sea and recover the lost parts so we can make new power suits. Help me find Aviva's missing power suit parts by searching the ocean. Put your finger on the joystick controller at the bottom right corner of the screen and move it in the direction you want to swim. Great! The arrow in front of me shows you the direction to go to find the next power suit part. The flying fish can spread its wing-like fins and glide over the water. That's the first part found. That's two down, two to go. 
Hello, Ocean Pony. Three hearts found. Only one more. Flying fish swish their strong, motor-like tails on the surface during takeoff. Now we have the great white shark. Activate great white shark power! Oh yeah, using chomping power to clear things up a bit. That helps the search. Flying Activate fish flying fish strong. power! Motor like tails on the surface during takeoff. Shark power! I need the dragonfish power so you get to see in the dark. Activate flying fish power! Activate great white shark power! Great white sharks can grow up to Great job! I'll make you a new power suit. Activate seahorse power! Activate great white shark power! Great white sharks have seven rows of teeth. I need this. Activate seahorse power. Nice gliding, Chris. Activate great white shark power. Activate seahorse power. Activate great white shark power. Great white sharks have seven rows of teeth. Hey, Razor Mouth! Activate seahorse power! Activate flying fish power! Flying fish can glide for 650 feet. That's about two football fields. Great job! I'll make you a new power suit. Activate seahorse power! Activate great white shark power! Acti Dragonfish use their light as a lure to draw in prey. Those plankton can't resist moving towards the light. A dragonfish's light is made by special chemicals in its body. Creatures like the dragonfish that can produce light are called bioluminescent. Dragonfish's light is made by special chemicals in its body. Activate seahorse power! Seahorses can ch Okay, ready to race the clock? How many more parts can you collect in a minute? Activate great white shark power! Dragonfish power! Uh, 
I need the great white shark. Activate great white shark power. I need activate dragonfish power. Activate great white shark power. Great whites have 300 razor sharp teeth. Activate seahorse power. Only 10 seconds left. Time's up. Great job. Keep on the lookout for the new power suits I can make with these parts. See you on the creature trail. trying to catch Nubs, the baby rhino. He's sending Zackbots after him. Help save Nubs by bowling over the Zackbots before they get to our rhino friend. To make the mother rhino charge, hold down the button on the mouse and swipe it to the direction you want the rhino to go. Then release the button. Congratulations! Now you can bowl a crap brother with rhino power. Power suits can knock down more Zackbots. Mayhem. Today is Grabsy's birthday. Our buddy Grabsy is a spider monkey who lives in the South American rainforest. Chris and I are jump by pressing the action button below. You've invited the first spider monkey to Grabsy. The way is blocked. St now that the way is clear, switch to Martin so he can get through. Remember, you can switch back to Martin by tapping on our pictures above or by tapping on Martin.
Now that the way is clear, switch to Chris so he can get through. You can switch between Chris and I by tapping on our pictures above. Now that the way is clear, switch to Martin so he can get through. Remember, you can switch back to Martin by tapping on our pictures above or by tapping on Martin. Now that the way is clear, switch to Martin so he can get through. Remember, you can switch back to Martin by tapping on our pictures above or by tapping on Martin. You've invited another spider monkey to Grabzy's party. Watch out for sharp rocks. You've invited another spider monkey to Grabzy's party. Oh, made it through. I wonder what's holding up Chris. It's Wild Crab's Animal Choose Match. A habitat. Traveling to North America. Pick two cards to reveal the animals. Find a matching pair to clear the cards away. Way to go! You found all the matches! You can play again, or pick a new habitat for different animals. Win in all the other habitats to unlock the Tortuga. Traveling to... Pick two cards to reveal the animals. Find a matching pair to clear the cards away.
Way to go! You found all the matches! You can play again. Or pick a new habitat Win for different all the animals. other habitats. To Traveling to... Pick two cards to reveal the animals. Find a matching pair to clear the cards away. Way to go! You found all the matches! Choose a habitat. North American Forest. Find the creatures that belong in this habitat and take a picture of them. Only take pictures of the animals that live in that habitat. Kookaburra live in the Australian outback. Sonoran Desert, Central America, Central America, Sonoran Desert. Find the creatures that belong in this habitat and take a picture of them. Only take pictures of the animals that live in that Orangutans live in the Indonesian rainforest. Orangutans live in the Indonesian rainforest. Giraffes live in the African savanna. Central American Rainforest. Find the creatures that belong in this habitat and take a picture of them. Only take pictures of the animals that live in that lions live in Africa. Proboscis monkeys live in the Indonesian rainforest. Australian Outback. Find the creatures that belong in this habitat and take a picture of them. Only take pictures of the animals that live in that habitat. Gila monsters live in the Sonoran Desert.
Moon rats live in the Indonesian rainforest. African savanna. Find the creatures that belong in this habitat and take a picture of them. Only take pictures of the animals that live. Moose live in the North American forest. Cockatoo are from the Indonesian rainforest. Black beetles live in the Sonoran Desert. Black beetles live in the Sonoran Desert. Indonesian Rainforest. Find the creatures that belong in this habitat and take a picture of them. Only take pictures of the animals that live. Sloths live in the Central American Rainforest. The Thorny Devil lives in the Australian Outback. Sloths live in the Central American Rainforest. Warthogs live on the African Savannah. 